No. I did it again. Where I started talking for a few minutes and then realized I didn't hit record. So at least this time there's only a few minutes as opposed to eight minutes. I woke up to find a decent amount of ants in the last place. Um, they were like kind of crawling out of my laptop keyboard. I didn't, luckily I didn't find any in the bag, really, or my laptop bag. Um, but it made me like really paranoid. I was like constantly like checking myself for ants. Other than that, the room was good. It was very loud outside. It was just like constant horns, and I don't know how I slept through that. Okay, so breakfast was... They gave me like uh, two bananas, which was good, because I need to um, regulate my digestion. Had, like a roll, which was good, and they toasted it, but like it's just always awkward to eat those kind of rolls. They make a lot of crumbs. The jam and cheese was, were good. Then I had some uh, tea. I needed a break from the entry-level hotels, so I splurged and got one for like $24. So I started heading down towards there. There is this uh, small lake I was going to walk to and then find like a cafe. Um, so I did. The cafe was kind of weird. Like I just ordered their uh, signature coffee, and it, I probably had to wait like 10 minutes. Like, they had me go upstairs, and I was just going to stay up there for a while. But... It was really good, but it's just it was just iced coffee. Here they vacuum seal the cups, even if you're dining in. So I guess it can come in handy if you're on the run, so you can get your put your straw in your coffee and drink without spilling. There's ants here too. I guess it's just something I'm gonna have to get used to in the city. Still had a little bit of time to kill, so I decided to head down to this uh, mall. The top floor of the mall that you can get to with escalators had an arcade. That was pretty cool. There was just a uh, first person shooter where you have like a um, machine gun where it's like you're tourists on this like safari or something like that on this island and then uh, all of a sudden the island's like overcome with giant insects so you have to fight them off like that and that's very satisfying after all the bugs I've been dealing with. I, I wish I'd spent more time at the, the arcade although the timing worked out. When I was walking in, I saw that there was a movie theater in there, and so that was the main reason I went, or I wanted to stick around in the mall. I'm trying to see a different movie, or see a local movie each time I go to the country. This is like a rom-com about a, I think like the translated title is Jailbait, where it's essentially like this like a playboy, um, Kind of picks up this girl, and then like the um, the morning after, he gets he, he thinks he's running away from the husband who's knocking on the door, and then uh, he comes back to get his wallet, and then he finds out that the girl is not 18 yet, and so he's freaking out. And then she kind of blackmails him about it because she has like a video. But it's just, it sounds really dark, but it's it, the movie's done in an interesting way. Like ultimately, she's doing it to kind of get back at her boyfriend, who is the cousin of the playboy, because she he had uh, cheated on her with someone. Anyway, because I didn't know what the timings, the show the show times would be at this theater, and then uh, it basically worked out where like the movie that I wanted to see had just started like right then, um, so I missed probably like the first minute or so, like the opening credits are strolling, and I knew the premise, so um, I got a little worried because like I technically uh, pirated part of the movie, because um, uh, so like one thing that's annoying with the GoPro is like it's supposed to be you hit this button. And it, like if it's off and it'll start filming, it takes like 10 seconds to load up and all that. And then you hit it again, stops filming and turns off. Sometimes it doesn't stop filming, or sometimes it doesn't turn off. Sometimes it doesn't stop filming. Um, sometimes it just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's this whole thing. And so um, a few times now I've like 
stop filming, turn it off, and put it in my pocket, and then I'll find out that, like, I've been filming for half an hour because my pocket's getting really hot. And so uh, I put it in my bag and then uh, was, like, feeling in the bag just to, or during, like, 20 minutes into the movie just to make sure that it was still there because I'm always, like, really paranoid um, about everything in my bag. I noticed, like, a light coming from the bag. And I was like, oh, God. And, like, I didn't want to, like, take it out. Like, I, luckily I was able to just kind of hold down the power button. But, like, so I was sitting there with, like, 20 minutes of <laughs> technically pirated audio from this movie. Um, and I don't want to, like, pull the camera out and turn it off because people would see what's happening. So it's kind of, um, as soon as I got out, I deleted it. Um, I wouldn't have been able to understand it from the audio anyways. Um, oh, it was subtitled, by the way. As I started heading back, there was this larger lake that I wanted to try to get to. And then there was this, uh, some kind of tower in the distance from where I was that I wanted to see. And uh, so I kind of got lost through these uh, side streets trying to get there. And eventually I found the tower. It was just a radio tower. The lake I had to pay to get in, I think it was like 18 cents or something like that. So I walked around the lake for a little bit. I guess there was fish in the lake, because uh, I saw some people fishing, and then I saw like uh, on along one of the docks, there was just like a bunch of dead fish. Like one was like just out on the land, and the others were just kind of floating, so don't know what's up with that. I got mixed up as far as which corner I was at, because I knew eventually I had to get out of the park to go where I was going, and then it turned out that I got out at the wrong corner, and I didn't want to deal with trying to get back in with my ticket. Um, so I like I had to go along the long side of the park on the outside, but I got a couple good photos, and I got some uh, time lapse, although I was sitting on the curb, and it smelled really bad. Got to the hotel. They were saying that I was like lucky because uh, I got some kind of upgrade, and I couldn't really understand what he was saying. Um, and then uh, so they showed me up to the room, so I'm on the seventh floor, so I'm fairly high up. And then uh, the guy that was showing me, you know, say goodbye pretty much right when the, he opened the door. Um, so I didn't really get to react. This is easily my favorite hotel room I've had, at least in Vietnam, if not, period. <laughs> and so this was $24. Um, and I guess just they just upgraded me to this randomly. I didn't really understand what he was saying. He just said something about upgrading. Obviously, I had to pay for these, but like, holy crap. <laughs> I could even just have dinner. I could just have some instant noodles. I have my own, like, <laughs> veranda or whatever this is. Atrium. Or... In the bathroom. They even give you a razor, which I wish every hotel would do that. And I could do laundry, because they gave me plenty of soap. Oh my god. I didn't really get to do anything out on the um, patio area today because um, the sun went down by the time I got back from dinner. Um, but uh, I'll probably sit out there tomorrow morning while I work. Um, I went out, and one nice thing about uh, Hanoi is like there's so many different little eateries. And uh, so I, I found a couple places in, online that I was looking to go to just to see how busy they were. The one I was looking for, I couldn't even find. Um, but generally, like, Instead of like relying on Yelp or something, you pretty much just walk around until you see a place with a decent amount of people, and then you check the menu. Like the main thing is, I, like I look for menus that at least have something in English, um, and then uh, sometimes the staff will just kind of call you into the restaurant or the bar or whatever. And if I don't have anything in mind, I just <laughs> go with it. And so far, it hasn't steered me wrong. But uh, so I, I, again, I don't know the name of the restaurant because I uh, just kind of went in on a whim after someone uh, called me in. I had roasted pigeon and fried glutinous rice, and that's the first time I ever had pigeon. I guess the texture is, I mean, like, I wouldn't actually say this tastes like chicken. Like, the texture is kind of like chicken, um, but uh, there's almost like a sweetness to it. Like, I want to say it's like somewhere between like brisket and pulled pork, which sounds like a weird thing for it to taste like, but uh, yeah, it was like, really sweet. And then uh, it was awkward to eat with chopsticks, so after a certain point I just gave up and kind of gnawed on it. There's very little meat on pigeons, so it's hard to get to it all, but it was good. And then the glutinous rice, it was almost like if you picture, like, the, like, I mean, it's basically just, like, dough. So it's sort of like if you were to get, like, a apple pie, baked apple pie from McDonald's or something like that, and then you just took out the apples and the filling and all that. Um, but so it's like slightly sweet, um, kind of gooey and warm. It was really good. I felt bad because I accidentally dropped one of the feet down the stairwell next to me. And uh, one of the 
staff saw me do it, and he just smiled and laughed. I just, I, uh, it wasn't something where I could just like, walk down and take it up, so I just kind of had to leave it there. Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, no idea what's happening tomorrow or where I'll be. But anyway, <laughs> when do I ever? So until tomorrow. <laughs>